the wild week continues. I am running late to meet some buds, to meet some friends, to meet the most important buds, the most important friends. August. No, it's the July 1313 meetup. And sadly, my day's a complete disaster. So they're already in the meeting spot. I'm insanely late, but it doesn't matter. I guess I got all my stuff out of the way and I'm good to go till we shut down DCA. But first, we're gonna catch love and thunder. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs up? Wait, no. part of this. I don't wanna be part of What's the matter with you? But you, you don't like Marvel movies, right? I don't. Is this your first Marvel movie? I've seen most of them. No, you no, you parts of most of them. No, I've seen parts of most of them. So the, I don't like any parts of any of them. So defend yourself. What is your favorite movie? Say it. Say the little witch boy's name. Say the witch boy's name. Say it. Say the witch boy's name. Yes, I like Harry Potter. Ah, uh, bye. <laughs> You never wrote it with a champion, right? Huh? My friend that doesn't want to be in the video. Huh? I've always wanted to do this stuff on. I've always wanted to go see a Marvel movie, come straight to the park, and try to find the characters. But my question for you is, as a hard, hardcore Disneylander, do you think we'll see Thor tonight? Do you think we'll see Lady Thor tonight? I think it's likely. It seems like it would be appropriate for the you know the people here to notice the, right. the movie. It's movie drop night. I'm seeing lots of hammers. I'm seeing lots of people walking around with Thor hammers tonight. A lot of excitement, yeah. We're trying to hunt down Thor and Jane. There's Loki right there. Loki just didn't get a lot of love in the He's new the movie. He is the teaser. Jane's costume looked really, really cool. Love the headgear. And I'm curious, will they update Thor's costume? Because Thor's been walking around in like the first Avengers movie costume for quite a while. Oh, I had noticed. I'm, I'm curious if we'll see a new Thor costume because his new costume looked good with he, all the navy blue and he gold. He went through like three changes and he had like the standard new Thor and then the new new Thor and then a crazy I want to show off Thor. Right. And right. then for a while he had like a gold like underlayer and then he had no underlayer. I mean, you know, just two dudes just paying attention to everything that Thor is wearing. No big deal. Yeah, we're not jealous. It's the adventure to try to find Thor Club 1313 meet up for the month of July, Operation Thor. I'll add the lightning in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My name's Mark, what's yours? Mark America Chavez. The only one in the entire multiverse, believe me. I've, I've checked, which I also think is pretty cool. That there's only <laughs> one of me. Are Do you from this universe? I am. You are, nice. Do you think you'll make it back to your mom's? You know, I really hope so. I hope so too I'm glad for you. They're together, so I, I hope they're doing well. They have each other, that's what's important. Yeah. Well, thanks. thanks for what you do for all of us. Oh, appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> So here's the vibe. We uh, went and saw Thor Love and Thunder tonight as a group. Amazing. Had a great time. Seen it with all my buds. Instant review talking about the movie. And our goal was to come over to DCA and try to find Thor. And then also to see Jane in her new costume. And uh, no, no bueno. Saw a handful of other characters, but it's so weird. It's like it's opening weekend of the movie. They have the costumes, they have the characters, they've advertised it through social media. Why are they not here? I just don't get it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, this guy's here. What's up? What's going on over here? I was looking for Thor. Have you seen Thor? I haven't seen him in a little bit. No. Uh, well, if you see him, tell him I'm looking okay, for him. I will. I will. Listen for him. Thanks, Marty. I appreciate it. Hey, no 
I saw Loki. I was waiting to see Jane or Thor. Not happening though. I'm pretty sure Mighty Thor was doing Perimeter Sweetest Love earlier in the afternoon. Earlier in the afternoon, huh? Yeah, she's she's so kind of Right, kind of right. Her we went and saw the movie, and then we wanted to come over and tell her that we enjoyed it, but we couldn't find her tonight. Mid afternoon. Mid afternoon. All right. All right, so there you go. It doesn't happen in the evenings. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I just, for the life of me, I can't quite understand the, the cutoff. The cutoff time is. It's an interesting choice. But I guess maybe they're thinking that people wouldn't go to the movie and come over here like psychos like us did. Who knows? But we tried. But the good news is this, is the movie is actually really, really good. I felt like post-pandemic, a lot of the Marvel movies have felt kind of small. A lot of soundstage stuff. You know, characters kind of deliberately on independent missions because of COVID shooting protocols. And this one felt like a pre-pandemic Marvel movie. It felt big, it felt adventurous, it felt like there was lots of locations. I really, really enjoyed it. it other than the Avengers movies where they're all together, like Endgame, it might be my favorite one. And I couldn't say that about Strange, Shang-Chi, Black Widow, any of the films post-pandemic haven't felt as good as Love and Thunder has. And the soundtrack is phenomenal, and the credits typography is amazing. Larry, okay. you do coffee for a living. Mm -hmm. Where's the best cup of coffee at the Disneyland Resort? Ooh, at the Disneyland Resort. Yeah. I will have to say that Cardamon Cold Brew at Troubadour Tavern is actually pretty dang good. I knew he would know. Joffrey Coffees that Dizzy uses, I'm not a fan of. I don't like Joffrey's. I, I, I think that it's too, uh, it seems like it's got fake creamer in it. Yeah, I don't like, like hazelnut. it. Like hazelnut, too hazelnut. So there's a thing with the coffee at Disneyland that I can't disclose information about. Uh oh, but yeah. Which only makes me need to know. Yeah. I can't say anything about the coffee at Disneyland, but the best coffee though that I usually go for, ah, the parts is tough, man. As long as it's not Joffrey's. That's all I gotta say. As long as it's not Joffrey's, uh, Jolly Holiday doesn't use Joffrey's. You make me want a cup of this NDA coffee that you know something about. Oh, you got to go to 33 or 21 Royal for those types of coffee. And those coffees are good. I have had the uh, iced coffee at 33 and it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. They're different from the whole park. Of course they are. <laughs> yeah. But I can't say why. Well, we tried. Sad days for everyone. We tried. At least the movie was good though, right? Sure. Yes. I really wanted to see Jane. She's the yeah. Mighty Thor. She's the Mighty Thor for sure. That tonight, opening night of the movie, they'd have the characters out. But I guess they have a curfew. Four o'clock. So maybe we didn't find Thor, but maybe we can find some pirates. My first sale on pirates, and I'm so excited to get back inside. And yes, I went in through the exit.
friends, when I started this channel, making it all about Disneyland, I had no idea the people that it would bring into my life and how it would change my relationship with my beloved Disneyland. Tell me where you're going to. I wanted Club 1313 to be more than just a Patreon, support and a creator. I wanted it to be a real community, full of friends. And lucky me, it happened. You don't have to tell me It's amazing to have been introduced to so many people that love this park just like I do. To have a place where everyone always wants to talk about Disneyland and never gets bored of the topic or judges you for being obsessed, I mean, loving it too much. It's amazing to have a place where everyone is just like you, full of hope and wonder, nostalgia and childlike curiosity. And even though at some point, the night has to end, the conversation never does. There's always a new topic, a new thought, and a new inside joke. It's pretty clear to me anyway. It's more than we say or do. Though I'm no stranger to coming to the park alone, and I enjoy my solo rips, but the nights that Club 1313 gets together and I get to enjoy the park with all my Disneyland friends, there's a certain brand of magic in the air. Knowing that everyone gets all the references, has their own set of fun facts to share, and mostly I guess, that everyone just cares. Cares about the park like I do. Not here just to rip rides and get Instagram treats or smash and grab limited merchandise, but they care about the history. They take in the smells, sights, and sounds of Walt's Park, our place to get away and to escape together. It is so awesome to have a group of friends that love Disneyland as much as you do, that you can get together with, and everybody just wants to talk about all the details, everything that's going on, future trips, past trips. Over the last couple of years, this has become my Disneyland family. And man, when we get together and just start ripping through everything, it's just like, I'm with my people. Nobody ever rolls their eyes. Nobody ever gives you the, oh, you still talking about Disneyland? Because they're always talking about Disneyland too. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have this community. Thank you.